Hey everyone, I am back with another video. So today we are doing a Fairy Christmas collection. It's time. I do this every year because I'm always buying more and more stuff. So let's see how much I can get rid of. And yeah, so this got the second um, vote. So I thought I would do that. Now, since I have some time. So I got Pure Seduction Noir. I think I love this one. Yeah, I like this one. I'm just taking Yeah, this one has the pomegranate in it. I thought I like it. I love the pomegranate inside. And then I have coconut passion. I like this one too. Caramel, coconut, and orchid. This line, this is the um, permanent line. This is bare vanilla. It's one of my favorites. And I'm not getting, I'm not getting rid of. I'm not getting rid of. And then I have the bare vanilla noir. I think. There's vanilla and pear. I have pure seduction. As much as I love this one, this is very, very sweet and fruity. Uh, this is plum and freesia. But it doesn't smell like it has a floral note in it at all. It's just very sweet and fruity. I got velvet petals, lush brown and almond greens. spell. I am so tired of this scent. But the thing is, because I've used it and I've, I've, I've used it, I might just um, use it up. So I might make a pile of stuff that I want to use up that I've already started. And then the ones that are brand new, I can just resell but I know if I put this online someone would buy it but I think I think I'm just gonna use it up it's not cherry blossom and fresh peach everyone in high school had this I don't know I might I might just use that one up it's not it's not a favorite of mine. And then we have velvet petals, noir. And I like this one. This berry and blossom.
So we have pure seduction, decadent, and it's berry and winter plum. It's very sweet, but it's musky. I don't know, I like this one. We have velvet petals, decadent, there's pomegranate and berries. This is good. It kind of smells like it has like a like a sandalwood um, base to it. That's what I'm picking up. It says pomegranate and berries, but I think it has a little bit of sandalwood. Um, that's what I'm picking up with this one. And it's good. Of the love spell decadent this almond blossom up here I think I'm gonna keep this one because I think I like this one and then we have the bare vanilla decadent and I think I like this one too this is amber and vanilla bean Maybe not. To me, this smells like if you go into a very like old vintage thrift store and items have been sitting around for a very long time that hasn't been dusted or uh, deep cleaned and you get that scent that's in like all the fabrics. Um, that's the smell. <sighs> like it's just been sitting around for a very long time. This is, no, this is not this. This is still good, but I just don't like the scent. This is, I don't like this one so this one is still very new so I'm gonna sell that I have blush and berry magnolia I think I'm gonna hold on to this one this is strawberry and magnolia I don't like this one this is sweet I like strawberry scents Daring Peach Daisy. I like this one too. This is Peach and Wild Petters. This is good. I love the floral note that's in this. And then Tempting Pure Jasmine. This was actually introduced to me. And um, after I made my order, um, I made a second order and I ordered this. And this was a great purchase, so yeah. I love this one too, this Juicy Pear and Jasmine. And then we have Dreamy Plum Dahlia, and this is Plum and Sandalwood, and I love this one too. We have the In Bloom collection, this is Velvet Petals.
a romance, and this is Jasmine and Musk. And yes, don't know why it would be named Amber when that's not an Amber now. But I love the Jasmine that's in this. So. And there we have the bare vanilla. This is vanilla and vanilla orchid and amber. And I, I already have one of these. But this one smells different. Yeah. This is different from the one that I have. I have Love Spell. And this is honeysuckle and apricot rose. And I like. I think I like this one more. Yeah, I think I like this one more than collection this is the forbidden rose and there's two of these where the um, um, the uh, the stickers are backwards so this is I think this is the one with the jasmine I believe yeah this is not the rose this is this is the one with the jasmine in it And this is the jasmine allure and this is a jasmine and purple passion fruit and this is the Lotus Desire. This Lotus and Deep Words. You know, this kind of smells like, this kind of smells like um, Febreze or like laundry detergent. That's what it smells like. It's a very fresh, clean laundry scent. I don't really have those in my collection, so that's why I'm trying to hold on to this one. Um, this one is... Okay. And then we have the exotic lily, and this is lily and rich amber. Is this... One of these, are, the labels are back, backwards. But to me, this one, this one is really good. This has a very nostalgic type of scent. I think that's why I love it so much. Enchanted Lily, Miss Lily and Lotus. I got 
orchid and berries. There's juniper berries and orchid. I said juniper note in here that I just don't really care for, so I'm going to declutter that one. And I think I showed you enchanted mode. Jasmine Dream. I think this is the one that... keep these two but I'm getting rid of that one so you have mystic lover this is rose and lotus and yeah this one is so good Dreamer. This lychee glow satin musk. The scent is going. It smells good. It has a very light floor scent but it's not as strong as it used to it's fading very quickly so I'm gonna have to use I'm gonna have to use this one up pretty soon but I do like that one and stargazer and I remember this one used to be like everyone's favorite at one time this is petal sky berry burst It's a light scent, so I can I can work with it. So. We have this collection, Midnight Fleur. I love this whole line. Moonlit Dahlia and Dark Peony. I love them. We have the Crimson berries this berry and pomegranate and I think I love this one so I'm not yeah I'm not getting rid of this one cashmere snow this vanilla and raspberry and it doesn't even smell like a has raspberry it's just very musky and sweet um, and then winter orchid and this is orchid petals luscious plum Radiant Berry. Vanilla Dusk. And Autumn Blossom. Here we have this collection. This is Hot Floors, Tear, Flower, and Woods. And this is Orange Flower and Blonde Woods. This is 
golden sands. There's warm amber and salty air. And then we have Island Away, and this is Cracked Coconut Beach Tripwood. It's an okay scent, so I'm gonna hold on to this one, but I'm getting rid of the one uh, with yellow. And then we have Pure Seduction La Creme. caramel apple and gardenia but i'm just getting that caramel note and it has it it there's a hint of like sandalwood i'm picking up but then there's that caramel apple now and it's very really good love spell la creme there's peach blossom cashmere words I don't know, for some reason, every time I smell, I, I smell, I smell Love Spell. They all have a similar scent note. But this one, This one smells like Windex, so I'm gonna hold. I'm I'm getting rid of that, and I might get rid of that. Too, so that's gonna go. I don't know. For some reason, I just don't like love <laughs> the love spell line. I don't know. And then bare vanilla la creme. This is decadent vanilla orchid, sponge sugar, and yeah, I just I like this one too. Cherry pop, more cherry hot petals. I like this one. This one is a very like love it or hate it type of scent. Um, I love the cherry scents, so yeah, I'm keeping that one. I'm gonna have to start using um, these collections pretty soon. Vanilla Remix, I love this one. This is black vanilla amber. We have heat wave and these were retired scents that I ordered from eBay like many many years ago and um, I was so happy that the seller had them and then yeah this one smells like a high-end perfume there's no keynotes on it but it smells really good and then I have a sunset stripped and it's just a coconut sunscreen type of scent. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like at the beach. It has like a similar scent note. And then we have this very old collection. This is Tropic Heat and this is pineapple and citrus blossoms. Like this is so, like I even cracked the top. That's why the top doesn't, doesn't wanna But I don't have many pineapple scents, so I've been like holding on to this one because I love it. And then I have Island Fling, and this is Beechwoods Whipped Vanilla. And this one is really good too. I have Cake Confetti. No, this is really good. 
and I have Sugar High. This Nectar Pop Rock Candy. And it's just very, very sweet and musky. It, it almost gives me a headache when I smell it. Like every time I smell this, I get a headache. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I do like the scent, but I don't want to, I don't want it to irritate my allergies, but then I don't want to get rid of it because I love it. So I'm like, oh no, I guess if I use it sparingly, I'll be okay, I hope. But I don't want to get rid of it. I have this collection. This is the Lost in a Daydream. This Crisp Apple and Hazelnut Woods. And I think I like this one too. And then I have Silver of Sun. This is Bright Bergamot Coconut Musk. It smells like Play Doh. So I'm getting rid of that. Oh, look. And then we yeah, have bare vanilla frosted. vanilla sun kissed and I like the, I think I love all of the fair vanilla line yeah it's so good I have the love spell sun kissed so I got two of these Nectarine and Sandalwood. I have Love Spell Frosted. There's Snowy Cedar Peach Petals. I think it's that cedar note that I like. I don't know. I like. I love the men's line. Like. And this kind of has almost like a. Like a little bit of like a masculine note because of the cedar. That cedar word. Um, I like this one. So I'm going to keep this love spell, but. One, two, three. I got three love spells so I'm decluttering, but I'm keeping this one. Desert Lily. I like that one. That one smells like a high-end perfume. And then we have Bright Palm. This is apricot blossom and coconut milk. And I like this. This lavender and it smells it smells like it smells like cologne it's a masculine scent but I like it and I'll work with it so I'll wear it I mean I'm like, if it's I 
Condom Ice. And I remember I loved this one. And they had just put this on the shelf when I walked in the store. I regret only buying one because I loved it. And I seen it on the cells. Um, she was um, doing a review on it. And I was like, I have to have that scent. So, you know, I was like, well, let me just grab one so everybody else gets a chance to have one as well and now I'm like I wish I bought two of them but I do love this scent and it's one of my favorites and this is peony and coconut so I love them both and then I have the petal edge and this is a very old scent and it smells like a high-end perfume something you would get in like Sephora Smells like a high end perfume. So we have very sexy. I'm holding on to that one. I have to use that one up actually. And then I have Bombshell Paradise. And this is very citrusy. This is the second time I've had this. And it smells like oranges. And I don't want to smell like oranges. <laughs> like, I, it was an impulse buy, and they were having a sale. I think it was like 11. $10.99 or $11.99 for these um, one semi-annual and I just bought everything that I didn't have that was um, on sale that day and um, I'm just not into this scent so I'm going to get rid of that as well and then I have Tease Glam I love this, I love the Tease collection and I would love to get everything and this one, and this is so good. It's a uh, very mature, very sophisticated perfume, um, fragrance mist, which I love. And I have Bombshell Holiday, which I really like too, which I've done, I think, a favorites on this one, I believe, right? I like this one, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And then we have Bombshell Intense, which is my favorite, and yeah, I, I rave about that one all the time. Uh, I have Very Sexy Now. This one is very old, too, but it's very floral. It's a light, sweet, powdery type of floral note. It's good. Um, And then we have Love, and um, this one I, I was so happy when I bought this one, because I loved it so much, and yeah, this one is really good. And then I have Very Sexy Night, and this one is very good too. It kind of reminds me of like, Into the Night um, type of scent. Victoria's Secret. I don't know if you guys want to see that in this one, but this is Bombshell Seduction, and I I broke the fragrance mist. It smells so good. So I have that, and I have Bombshell Intense, and yeah, I haven't used them yet, but I need to. But yeah, these were on sale I think for ten dollars a piece in Victoria's Secret during the one semi-annual sale, and. I had to get it as well, but that's it for this Victoria's Secret Declutter. I don't want to make it too long because it's already 35 minutes, but I am getting rid of Bombshell Paradise. I'm getting rid of Love Spell Sunkissed, Love Spell La Creme, Love Spell Forbidden Berries, Bare Vanilla Decadent. Silver of Sun and Golden Sands and I think I'm going to get rid of Coconut 
coconut craze. So that's it for this video. That's two, four, six, eight, nine, nine figures miss. I should make it even and just put in one more because um, that's just going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to grab one more, make it an even 10 and it's going to go. But that's it for this video. I have to go now and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.